mean, as a leader, I mean, you feel like this group's really dialed in, wants to finish up the season strong? Yes, I do. Um, everyone's come in uh, with a great mindset and a great work ethic this week. So I'm excited for game day. What are your expectations of yourself? What do you need to do in this game mm -hmm. to win? Just operate, um, be calm in the pocket. Um, make sure I'm making my routine plays, not doing anything special, just playing my game. I get one team's different from one year to the next, but how much can you use a game like this and the way you all closed this year as a springboard into next year by going out and playing well this week? Yeah. I feel like it, um, it can definitely springboard us into next year uh, with some rhythm and um, you know some confidence as well, um, also helping recruiting as well. Yeah, um, you know, just they're really aggressive um, up front, you know, real strong and uh, really fast um, in the back end. You know, they got some some big guys in the back end uh, that are athletic, that can move. So I'm um, excited to get there and compete. Last time we talked to you, the book was about to come out. How have things been going? Since yeah, they've been going well. They've been going well. Um, the process has been great. Uh, just going going through this process with my family uh, has been a blessing. Cedric just 69 yards away from the thousand. He didn't uh, mince words with us when he said he wanted to get it. How much he kind of been talking about that with you, Wayne? When you wanted. He only to... he only spoke about it one time. So I mean, we're gonna play ball. So if, if he gets it, he gets it. If he's not, then I mean, my fault. I know every game's important, but how important is it to finish this off the right way on, on Thursday to kind of cap what you've done and obviously momentum heading towards next year? Yeah, just to piggyback on what I said earlier, uh, I feel like it will definitely springboard us uh, into the fall. I mean, not the fall, but the spring, um, and just have some confidence going in and, and operate uh, smoothly on offense and defense as well. And do you know what Cade's going to do, even if he hasn't announced it yet? I don't. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> me and Cade talk every day. But, um, you know, it's really just um, downtime, just small talk, um, just enjoying our time here. <laughs> how do you approach that? I mean, I'm sure you didn't want guys, like, being in your ear all the time, even though I'm sure some were. I mean, how do you approach that of giving a guy space but also kind of doing your recruiting pitch too? Mm -hmm. if, it, if the situation uh, approaches itself and um, we get caught in one of those conversations, we definitely talk about it. Um, but other than that, it's just deep general conversation. How's the preparation for this game? I know it's been a little bit different, kind of a little in Knoxville, a little here, but um, how, how's the team prepared for this game against Purdue? Come Prepare, uh, prepared well. Um, I feel like the intensity in practice has been good. Um, the conditions out here are kind of bad, so we didn't really get to do any uh, good on good scrimmage time at the end of practice. But um, I was definitely looking forward to that because everyone's coming with the mindset like, they're going to play great ball and, and play hard and play hard out for the team. So I'm excited for the game. How's COVID testing out here? Is it any different? Is it as frequent? Is it's it the, different? It's the same protocol. Yeah. Um, week in, week out of game week, um, you know, guys getting tested. So you know, it's the same protocol. Do you feel good about how the team has handled that with maturity to make sure yeah. you're on the on point? Yeah. The team has um, handled it well. Everyone's, you know, following the protocol, wearing their mask. Um, you know, distancing, or just make sure everyone's taking the right steps so we can play at a bowl game. I'm sure you guys hear about all these other bowl games getting canceled. Is that kind of in the back of your mind? Yeah, like, yeah. please don't cancel it. <laughs> but, um, you know, for the safety of the team and our families, you know, if that's what they have to do, then they got to pull the trigger. You said earlier you just kind of want to play your game, not do too much. Is that part of your personality, or do you think that's more helpful to the team? Uh, you know, in a, in a sense, I just feel like, when I come out and I'm relaxed and I just take care of business, take care of my simple reads, you know, um, uh, it helps the offense move much smoothly and it helps me deliver the ball um, a little bit better and um, operate a little better as well, so it slows down my thinking. I know you guys traveled uh, to the bowl for on Christmas night. What else stood out about Christmas? Did you get any family time at least before that at all? Yes, I did. Um, we had a, a great time. Um, Christmas Eve and then early Christmas Day, had some family come over to the house, um, ate a little bit, um, talked about the book, did some work with the book, <laughs> I had to get some shipped out, so uh, yeah, it was, it was a great day. Good. And then you obviously made the decision to come back next year, try to improve your game and go to the next level, but from start to finish this year with this team, where do you feel like you improved the most? Um, I would just say uh, team camaraderie, um, everyone's just been great. Uh, we all look at look at each other as brothers and as a family. Um, so just staying on each other um, about little things, about work ethic, um, attitudes you have coming to practice, and um, just little things inside the inside the facility. 
uh, doing the right things off the field has been great. Individually, where do you feel like you grew the most? Um, just being a leader and being more outspoken. And honestly, just being free and just playing my game, having fun. Is that challenging at a, at a new school, especially when you work not start the season? It is. Um, when I first got here, I, I just kind of sat back and observed everything because um, I wanted to prove myself to my teammates before kind of stepping in and trying to take that leadership role. So I'm just kind of gradually you know, gaining their trust. Um, it's, been, it's been a great ride. Hedden, do you feel like you, you and Cedric, and there's others, obviously, are examples of you know, later in your career, kind of sticking through and continuing to put in the work that it could really pay off for you, even if early on in your career you don't have the results you're looking for? Yes. Um, I think from day one when you come in to the college atmosphere, uh, you, you want to jump in and, and be the guy. But um, it's, a, it's a process, and the quicker you learn that the work you put in off the field and on the field, um, will benefit you down the road, then the better you'll be. How important are these bowl practices for the younger receivers who haven't gotten enough rep, mm -hmm. as much reps, just yeah. not just for the bowl game, going into the next mm -hmm. season? Yeah, very important. And it's also a, a joy to see the guys go out there and compete uh, at a high level and um, play their game. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, Ed.